inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Yay! Welcome back, everybody. Okay, uh, I don't want to not introduce her because she's so amazing, but then I want to bore you all with the introduction. If you've been following along, then you already know that this is part three because we've been having a long conversation with Samoa, the web designer, the expert about your websites. And we got to talk about them, right? Because we know they're important to you when you don't like your website. Whoa. Mm, 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 mm. But what good is having it if you're really not elevating a platform from it? What good is having it? You know, if you're not making money with it, you know, what good is having the site? And so we've had some very interesting conversations for the last two weeks. And we're about to just hammer straight in. Y'all know how I am. Sometimes I go straight in. Miss Samoa is going to talk to us about this marketing message issue. And I'm just going to follow her lead because this is what she does. So say hi to everybody. And let's rock. Hey, y'all. How's it going? Okay, so today we're talking about the marketing message, and it's like, what? Doesn't she do websites? What the hell does that have to do with marketing? Well, what most of you guys don't realize, because most of y'all are using your website as a, it's more like a vase or a potted plant. It's just a thing that's there, and you never use it for your business, and I don't understand that, because it's a very powerful marketing tool, and if you use it to its fullest ability, you can literally, like... Some of you guys are on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, like you're on, you're everywhere and you're on everything and you're trying to figure out how to get the algorithms to work for you. And you're studying all of these different social media tools when if you really understood how to use your website as a marketing tool, you'd really only have to focus your main attention on it. I'm not saying you wouldn't be on the other platforms, but you wouldn't be getting thrown curveballs the way you're getting thrown curveballs each time the algorithm changes Uh like you would be able to ride the waves because you'd feel secure knowing that your website the most powerful marketing tool that you have is already bringing you clients and it's already helping you get booked out so yes it's not just having a pretty website if you use it as the powerful marketing tool that it is it can do so much more for you and your business and that's why we're talking about marketing today and you know something on every single one of those platforms if you're utilizing them to their fullest degree you filled out all the little spaces you filled out all of the little boxes and you know right there as soon as you go on facebook you know it's your name if you are you are married but even before all of that it's your employment and most people, it says self-employed or entrepreneur and works at, and most of you 
have your business page but everyone number one uh, doesn't have their website link in the list of that but you should and when you have your business page you should have your immediate access to your website there a lot of professionals especially on LinkedIn they want to see what your website looks like to see if you're legit when you're in you look under your bio and IG once again it's your website and so everything should still be leading back to that yeah. to that place and and so that's a really basically the question is when people say where do where do I find you and I've even been guilty of this for myself because I had a uh, website shame prior to being blessed by your services and I don't have them anymore y'all y'all already know because you've heard me on social media and the podcast telling you to go visit www.augustcrenshaw.com because it's crazy <laughs> but serious I mean but seriously um now when people want me and I'm like yeah you know if you're looking for me you want to find where do people find you at mostly find me on Facebook I won't say that anymore. I'm like, where do you find me? At augustcrenshaw.com. And then from there, there are social media links if people want to connect with me. But if anything ever happens or it changes, they fall off the face of the earth or they do something that's just even more effed up than they already do with the algorithms, I want people to know where to find me. And I want you to find me where my stuff is, not where driplets of me is. There you go. Yes, I love that. And I want to touch on two things that you said. You said that most people don't have their links on stuff and you're telling them to get their links on the thing. But most of you guys aren't getting your links on your social media pages because I see a lot like I've been looking at people's profiles and I'm talking about people like, you know how Instagram, it's like everybody's posting their highlight reel. So a lot of people seem to like be really professional and have their shit together. They get their branding photography done and everything. So like I've been looking at these pages and they like, they have great content. They have, they look like they're, they have their shit together. They're getting clients and they're doing everything. But then when I go to see their website, like you go on the link tree and it's like, join my Facebook group, follow me on Facebook do this, do that, join my email list, but there's no website link. And I'm like, these people are applying to have sessions with me. And when I talk to them and I'm like, where's your website? They're like, oh, I have a website. I just don't put it on my social media platforms. And when I ask them why, it's because they're ashamed because they know, like, you know that you're a badass at what you do. Like, you know that you get results. You know that you transform people, but your website isn't reflecting that. So you're not going to show it because you don't want people to get that first impression of you. But you don't realize that even without, when you don't have a website, people already have that impression that you're not actually legit and you're not actually serious about your business. Because I spoke to somebody, she said, I asked her why she would want a, prof a professional website. And she said, well, I want a website that reflects who I am because the better the website looks, the better like the more people hold you in higher esteem people say okay she's really serious about your their her business she's really like she's legit <laughs> basically that's it she's actually legit so that's number one it's like yes you i understand the website shame but it really it really it's really not that hard to get a website that that shows how much of a boss you actually are like if you can't afford a fully custom website, I've got templates for literally 90% less mm. of what you would, of what you would pay for a custom site. So there's really no excuse for you not to have a website that you're proud to share with the world. Cause it's like, I'm making the resources readily available to you. So you don't have to experience that website shame anymore. Absolutely. And I, I wanted I wanted to interject really quickly, but you know, just keeping it all tied in with your theme for the day. But here it is, you know, you want a website that you're not ashamed of. Well, that's because it's pretty though. But yes. but but what's the what's this whole thing, you know, which we're getting ready to get into about the the mix up with the marketing? Because people are going for pretty, but they still don't understand that 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 still may not translate into dollars. There you go. So after the pretty site is just to get people interested in you, because I always say something like, you know, when somebody's not um, confident in their website, when you go on their site and there's just a shit ton of copy 
is just words upon words upon words upon words. Like you get on the homepage and it's a whole essay you got to read. And it's because they know they're trying to make up for the fact that their design isn't communicating what they'd like to communicate. So they have a lot of copy. But here's the thing. Most people aren't going to read all that. Um. And they're just off your side. Exactly. I'm not going to read it. You're not. And most of you listening aren't going to read it unless some, there's something that hooks you. And usually it's the design that hooks you, it's like getting people curious and whatnot. So it's in, mm-hmm. an important part of marketing because it communicates who you are and helps you stand out and hooks people in. But you still need to be able to communicate who you are with your marketing message. And it's not just that you're a sales coach. It's not just that you're a photographer or you're an event planner. It's not just what you do. Because when you just communicate what you do and you describe, like, first of all, people don't care what you do or what your process is and what like all they want to know is why they want to, they should choose you mm-hmm. so and that's how you connect with them and most people have like both on their websites and on their marketing what the mistake i see a lot of entrepreneurs making is they're like oh well i need to create content to get clients and they're just like posting content and content and content without ever actually connecting with their ideal clients so that they can convert those people into sales so yeah you're probably helping them giving them great helpful tips but you're not really connecting with them when it's time for them to like buy something are they gonna come to you are you gonna be the first person that pops into their mind Mm -hmm. or are they just gonna be like i need an event planner and i'm gonna find the one with the best quote to help me out and that's it And you know, I feel you on that because that's one of the, one of the first things I work with clients without the gate. You know, I don't care how long you've been in business. I remember I worked with a woman who had been in business for like 10 years Mm -hmm. and I didn't know it until I asked her for the statistical data, but she was barely bringing in $500 a month. And this isn't to shame anyone, but ladies, a lot of you, you are saying that you're business owners and you have a spouse that has a job that is really footing all of the bills. You're not really making money in your business. And so you've just put a label on yourself. And you know, if I was naive and I didn't trust the way that I work with people, I would be intimidated. Like, oh, I got this person that came to me and they've been in business for, you know, two decades or five years, or you know, and here I've only been a business coach for, you know, going on my third year. No, fuck that. And that's what I teach people: know your power, know your stuff. And so, but anyway, and I talked to this woman and she had only been in business. I mean, she's been in business for 10 years, but was only making $500 per month on average. So that meant it may have been a little more, may have been a little less. And when I had her do her ideal client assignment to like really get into the core, not of what she's thinking, you know, not about what she's feeling. But what is your client feeling? And I know from going through your process, you were asking me a lot of questions and sometimes you would ask questions and I would be like, oh, well, I like straight lines. And then you're like, but no, but what is your client? What are your clients like? And I'm like, no, okay. And it just happened to be, it's the same thing. I'm like, no, uh, like in one of my clients that posted on uh, Facebook, she's like, I love the geometric patterns because they love, they love the straight lines and like triangles, you know, stuff like that. And so it worked, but you were asking me about my people. And so you can't have a marketing message if you're talking about yourself. That, that's not even, that, that you don't, the time you talk about yourself and the time you sell yourself to that degree is when you're at an interview for a job. The way you sell yourself when you're giving off your marketing message in your website is where you're letting it be known who you are in a way that it connects with who they are. And then you got to say, and I can give you what you want. I can give you what you want. And so I see a lot of people that want websites and they think that the website is going to be the cure, but they're not able to do what you're talking about because they don't even know anything about their ideal client. And so they, I know pre people prematurely come to you and want custom designs. I like the fact that you brought up the fact that you have templates for like barely a fraction of the cost Explain to them, you know, why you have the template, 
versus them doing the custom site. We've said this before, but I know that people are missing it and they don't even, they're so used to saying things a certain way because people call themselves custom designers, even though they're doing templates. Mm -hmm. help, help the people out with that. And then also, you know, go back to the whole thing with the connecting with the marketing message on the website. Okay, so um, in terms of the template, I created the template because a lot of people would come to me prematurely. And at first I was like, why are all these people coming to me to do a custom website? And I had to turn them away because they weren't ready for a custom website. And it would make my job a lot harder <laughs> because they weren't, they, like your website is supposed to be an extension of you. Okay, like you show up as you do and you sell to your clients, you sell to your audience, but your website isn't doing that for you. So you're like, you know what? I'm ready to have my website also help me out. Like it's a team member basically that works 24 seven for you. Yeah. So once you're ready to do that, you come to me and I take your um, marketing personality, who you are, and I translate it to your website, both with visual design and with the content on it to communicate that to anybody who goes on your website. So you can start driving traffic to it. So that it's a lot easier for you to get and attract clients because you don't have to do all the grunt work anymore. Yeah. But you have to have started doing the grunt work before. <laughs> you can't just come straight out the gate and say, I'm ready to have a website that does everything for me. And you've never even realized what work is for you to get clients, what the work is to get clients in your business. So you don't know the process, yet you want something that does the process for you when every person has a different process. Mm -hmm. Every business owner has a different pro process to attract clients. So that's number one. So, but once I started, I usually when a problem occurs in my business, I don't whine about it or bitch and complain. I try to find a solution to help people. And I started trying to understand why people come to me for a website. And when I saw, what I realized is the biggest component is the website shame. And instead of fighting the website shame, like saying, oh no, you should not be ashamed of your website. You can build your business without a website because you can. But I do know that the website shame can be very debilitating. Yeah. It can be a con confidence buster. Like you are not, you may not feel it as confident to show up in your business or talk or approach someone that you know you can help because your website isn't showing up the way that you do. And I understand that. I can understand that. I, I've never experienced it because <laughs> I've had a website from the get go of website I love from the get go, but I can understand that and I can put myself in your shoes. So because of that, I created the template because, and I, I put in my own unique creative twist on them by using my create unique creative lines. Cause you're not going to see any, even my templates, you ain't going to see any. No, <laughs> any no, I've seen them. Like, <laughs> that's, that's for sure. So I try to, I, I work to make them just as creative as, and unique as I do my custom websites so that you can feel very proud of having something that shows off at least a piece of who you are and so that you can send people to because I know, I understand yeah. how you're feeling when it comes to uh, when when it comes to the website chain so that's why i have the templates it's just to help you out with that whole confidence awesome. and it works and it helps a lot of people so that's a that's a template bit in terms of the marketing message here's what it is like in terms of connecting with people in the marketing message you're not and the work, the brandstorm workbook the freebie that you guys can opt into it talks a lot about that you're not connecting with your people because you're not putting yourself in their shoes just like I did. And what happens, mm -hmm. like, when you start your business, you start, you just start off marketing right off the bat. You're like, I got to create content. I got to put myself out there. And I love that go-getter spirit because I did it too. So, like, I was like, I got to get myself out there. I got I to gotta let people see me and come to me and all that stuff. But what you start realizing is that you're not connecting as well and you're wondering what's going on why aren't people talking why aren't people engaging why aren't people buying for me and you're asking yourself all these questions and you start doubting yourself like your ability to deliver when it's not that you're bad at what you do you're just bad at connecting with your clients and that's a good thing because that's something you can fix it's completely fixable because the first way to connect with them is just to understand them 
And a lot of people start working on their client avatars and they'll download these freebies to work on their client avatars. But what y'all don't realize that connecting with your ideal clients doesn't come by just, oh, this is the person's income, this is their gender, and this is what they're looking for, and this is why they want to work with me. Like that's this is their pain not- point and this is how they feel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like that's not just what it is. You need to see, you need to literally see this person as an actual person. Like, I just feel like it's like the hardest thing for business owners to understand. Like, your client is a person. The same way, like, compare it to before you, if you don't, if you already have a spouse right now, before a partner, before you had a partner. Like, when you were little, you would daydream about the person you would marry and stuff like that. And you're like, he's going to be this way and he's going to do that. And he was perfect in your head. But when you find your partner, is he or she perfect? Are they no, perfect? No. No. And that's okay. No, like, no. it's okay that they're not perfect because you still love them and you still yeah. want to build a life with them. So in the same way with your ideal client, a lot of people, when they do their ideal client, they're like, yes, my client loves this and they need this and they're perfect for me and da 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 And you don't realize that your ideal client is a person. They're not going to check all the boxes, first of all. But you need to understand where they're coming from and have compassion for them so you can connect with them, so you can bring them from point A to point B. That's yeah. all that they need you for. You so- made me- oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, when you were talking, you were I was just sitting here thinking about meeting someone and the conversation. And I actually have a client that I'm going to refer to you uh, because I looked at her site and the first thing on her site, it was like, get my book, you know? And I was like, whoa, Which and, and please, because she listens, she listens to the podcast, you know, my clients know I use them. And sometimes when it's not, you know, the, the friendly subjects, they don't like it, but I don't, I don't, I don't spill their names, but I know for me personally, not knowing how to do a website. That's one of the first things I would have done been like, oh, okay, I've got to make sure since they came on the site that I hurry up and put a freebie up here, get something right here or, or give them something to purchase so I can at least make some money or get an opt-in or something like that. And all of those things are asking for some form of a commitment or to give away value. And so if you are meeting a person, you're visualizing your, visualizing your client as a person you don't say, hey, hi, mama, you know, you're sexy. Hey, fine, man, you know, you look good. Can we just go ahead and get married and hit the hay? You don't, you don't do that. And so there is a courtship and a romancing uh, through the website process. And I loved how when I went through the process with you, you were like, nope. In the first part, this is what you're going to do. And it's kind of like a first date, you know, hey, you know, this is me, blah, 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 blah. And you graduate to this is who I am. And then this is what I know you want. And do you want to come and get it? You know, okay. Yeah. Now, it. <laughs> it's, it's a graduation. I ain't going to tell your whole methodology of how you get people there. But that's what I was visualizing, especially since you brought up the, you know, the romantic parallel of understanding that your marketing message in your your website it should not be marketing right away as far as a product and service it is the connecting rather I'll say connecting rather than the selling of yourself along with the visuals I mean if you were trying to get a date you make sure you put on your best so you know you want you want the visuals to be there to you know pop and to get people's attention you know but it is a process and that's what I was thinking about when you were talking and to top it off, that's one of the benefits of getting your template. Everybody may not fill out every page, but if they follow the templates, then they've got a window into saying, oh, so this is what should be on these sections of the site and it will make it easier for them to flow through it when they're actually you know, creating their copy and putting the stuff in there. So some of you, you got the website and it may be pretty as hell or either you got website shame, but with a pretty site or ugly site, the question today is how in tune are you with the people that you want to serve? Because if you're not, you're going to have a weak marketing message and it's literally just that simple. It really is. And like, it all goes back to connecting with that person. Cause like you said, like, Cause I did it too. When I, when I I launched my site the first time, (laughs) when I started my business, it was just like, work with me. Like, this is how much my package is and you can get a free trial here and da 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 da. 
like it wasn't like but like when now with the whole process of everything usually on your website people when people go on your site if they like let's say let's say you're a i don't know a fitness coach right and somebody who's feeling less than healthy who has who like they're not working out consistently um they've gained some extra pounds and they want to lose some weight so they're like looking at fitness coaches and they get on your site most fitness coaches are going to be like you need to lose weight you need to do this you need to do that da 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 like like really hammering in on you need to work with me but if you go on if they go on your site and they're like and they feel like you're saying hey i understand where you are this is how you're feeling and i get it and you're like i i can see why you're this way and da 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 and but here's what you need to do here's where you need to get and here's how i can take you there here's how i can bring you there you're bringing a feeling of compassion and understanding that nobody else in your field is doing and the thing is because you're your own unique person you communicate that compassion differently so even if somebody uses that same strategy and they're in your same industry like they're not going to show compassion the way you show compassion. And so you're going to connect with your ideal that way. And you're bringing them from point A to point B by showing them that you understand them and that you're not judging them for being where they are because they're judging themselves. Absolutely. So knowing that you're not judging them is a breath of fresh air. And it's like, let me find out more about this person so I can see how I can work with them. So, yeah. That's what it takes to connect. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, the other thing that um, I heard in all of that, and I know that I implemented it on my own site, is the big old V word, vulnerability. You know, if you're going to connect with somebody, no, you may not have ever been, you know, 500 pounds, but, you know, maybe you've always been in shape and maybe you're, compa- maybe you're passionate about it because you lost someone that you love who wasn't health conscious. And so you're, you, you love a fit body and you want to just help people be them, their optimal fit selves. Still something needs to be communicated, you know, about that. And so technically what we're giving some of you all is like, you can go to your own site and just kind of do some edits right now. This is like, you know, we dropping bombs like Hiroshima in here, you know, maybe your first page needs to be like, Hey, you know, I'm August and I'm a fitness trainer because I lost my mom. Be she obesity took her knees out first, and that second, and you know whatever, and that that goes a long way. Without you writing a shit ton of copy, though, we don't want you to write a book on your website <laughs> when you do it. But I was very vulnerable on my page. Now, I personally, I just don't have a problem with vulnerability and authenticity. But I come out the gate like, oh yeah, by the way, here are all the mistakes that I made. I'm not ashamed of my mistakes. This is what qualifies me to coach you. I'm going to teach you how to bypass everything that, you know, happened to me. And so you, when you can't do that without being vulnerable, but here's something else I wanted to point out about your process. That was really, really beautiful. And I'm, and we're going to go into my lane with business coaching. A lot of you have really, truly got to understand, just go get a template from Samoa. Do not try to get one-to-one, you know, coaching with her and get a custom website. Don't even let her do that with you because you don't have certain things in order. You were like, okay, so we're going to do this like this. And what's your, your primary freebie? You know, what's your primary offer? What are your spinoff offers? I had those things. Some of them are because I was revamping and tweaking some things because I'm letting sales be a very core foundation to, you know, pulling people in now. But overall, you know, I was like, um, okay, let's kind of add this or tweak this this way. Some of you, you're like, oh, well, all I got is that I'm a coach. Uh, well, what I could do is I could, you know, I did, you know, write a little thing and I can make it a PDF and I can make it an opt-in. You all don't even really have a strategy. You, you're hoping. You, unfortunately, some of you want a pretty site so that you can masquerade, you know, behind it. And you're like, yay, look at my beautiful site. But please understand. What Samoa and I both are saying is that you are still a unique identifying factor. You carry it. And so if you don't know your voice, you haven't really created your products, then how can you give her something to create for you that's going to be able to be you 24-7? No, it's just going to be 
a version of something 24 7 and, and it's your magnetizing personality i tell people all the time why are you worried about having a website if you still have any level of shame with truly promoting yourself and getting out there because you still have to drive traffic you still have to drive traffic exactly. like a website alone isn't going to fix all your problems like if you have a website and it's just sitting there no matter how beautiful it is, like if I get you a website, if I create a website, a bomb website, and it's built to convert customers, you still got to get the people to the site. You still have to promote yourself. You still have to market yourself. And if you don't understand what makes you unique and you're not comfortable communicating that to other people, and you're not confident in the way you communicate it, because that's the big, that's the big one. It's confidence. Like yeah. yesterday I was speaking to somebody and I was talking to her about my process and everything. She was telling me how she signed on with somebody, a web a web designer. You wanna guess how much the web designer charged her? I want you to guess, August. Uh three hundred dollars. What eighty dollars? Eighty? Eighty. I knew it was 80. a low price, damn. <laughs> I thought it was like two hundred. No, she said $80 with unlimited tweaks for the year. That's yeah. when you that's when you uh, raise your eyebrow. You like uh, that's, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's as soon as she said that, I was like, um, okay. And then she was like, yeah. And da, 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 da. and she was like, "Oh, so how many clients do you get? Do you do a month?" And I, no, she was like, "Oh, like tell me how much you charge." And, da, 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 da. and I was like, "Oh, I charge like 3 to 5,000." dollars And she was like, oh, wow, so you only need one client a month. And I was like, pretty much. <laughs> That's pretty much it. And, da, 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 da. and she's like, well, what do you do to charge that much? And I tell her about my process and everything. And she was like, oh, yeah, like I've been working with a designer for the last three months and I still don't have my website done because there's just a lot of back and forth going, this and that. And, that. and I'm like, I just launched a bomb ass site. And I showed her your site. I was like, I just launched a bomb ass site for a client. And guess how many revisions we had? None. We had little tweaks in there, here and there, like to make sure things were yeah. working. But she loved her design. There was nothing to change about the design. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, we literally, I was like, okay, well, can we just move this one little word down so it's a little space between that where you made my picture? Can we shift this over? And that was all, I mean, that, I think that was it. Yeah. 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 Um, and it was just about getting it. Like we just went. I didn't like, even back. for that. I did it. Huh? I was. I'm sorry. I was sitting there thinking to myself, "What did I ask her to do?" Um, and I'm like, "No, I didn't. I didn't ask you to totally, thoroughly revise any anything." She says she's like, and I offer my clients unlimited revisions during the reserve mm -hmm. timeline. Yeah. But they don't use it. <laughs> like it's like they don't use it because. They don't need it. No. The way I create my process, it's all about finding out, figuring out me understanding who you are so that I can create it on your website, which is an extension of you. So if you don't know who you are or you're comfortable with who you are, because you may know who you are, but you're not fully comfortable with it. You're not fully settled in that. Mm -hmm. I can't fully communicate who you are onto a website or with anything. I can't help you express yourself if you don't know how to, if you don't know what you need to express. So it's, it's very funny that she said that because she was like, yeah, I, I've gone through so many revisions and like just completely redoing the site again and again. And I was like, that poor guy charged you 80 bucks <laughs> and he's probably going through hell, but whatever, that's a side note. So, um, it's okay. Like wherever you are, it's okay. But really, really learn how to like, if you don't know what your products are, if you've never worked with a client before, or a couple, not even one, a couple of clients before, where you know that you can get people to from point A to point B, you have a solid process. I'm not saying that everything is perfect. Because as business owners, we're always revamping, we're always um, fine tuning and mm -hmm. getting better. But you have to get to the point where you're not just starting from scratch. You have to have some opt-ins like available. You have to know, okay, this is how my clients feel. You have to be able to understand that. Maybe you don't know how to express it, but you need to understand it so that I can pull it out of you. Because if you got nothing, if I ask you, like, 
Um, I actually spoke to somebody yesterday and like if she listens to this podcast. So if you're listening to this, like I'm not shaming you. Like we talked about this already. I'm not shaming you. You're just not there yet. Mm -hmm. But I asked her, what do you do? And she was like, oh, I do this. But sometimes I also do that. And I do this also. And I have this and I have that. And I was just like, I still don't know what you do. (laughs) Like, I still don't know what that means. And that's what like it didn't even take me long she booked an hour with me literally within 10 to 15 minutes I was like you're not my client you're not ready for a custom website and that's okay it's okay like it's okay to be where you are because I was there too I'll just fix me up but <laughs> I was there so I'm a, I'm a VA I'm a website designer I'm a, I'm a girl <laughs> <laughs> right I was offering a million and one services and losing clients because of it <laughs> Yeah, and you and you know what? Okay, so we're kind of going on a tangent, especially whoever this client is. If they hear that, they need they need to hear you say that. And if people designing your websites, you guys need to hear what she just said. She said she was losing clients because she was offering too many services. I know people that are so concerned about not missing money. That's what it boils down to. That she's like, I need the people to know. I can help with this. I can help with that. You know, that's like me saying, you know, I can be your business coach, but you know, when you go to events, you want to look good. So I also can design your jewelry. And just in case, you know, we're in the same city, I also can do your hair. So, you know, I can do your hair, I can get your jewelry together, and I can also coach you. That's not going to be attractive to people. Not, Not just because they need to feel bonded to you to allow you, you know, because those are different personal touching points, but it's because if you're doing all of those things, how can you adequately serve me in this one area? So a lot of you think that you're building up your resume and you're making yourself look like, look at all this stuff that I could do, but you're not known for that thing. How about you be known for that thing and then you offer it in multiple ways? I am known for being a business coach who happens to specialize in mindset and sales, but what are you going to get? Are you going to get my books and DIY it yourself? Are you going to do my groups where you get it done with you? Are you going to work one-to-one with me? Are you going to get a free webinar? You know, what what are you going to get, which is going to roll into an intensive? Are you going to be in my high ticket programs? And some of you just need to understand, don't put the cart before the horse and be very patient and understand that this is a developmental process. And so there's no, there's not going to be able to be a theme. There's, there are, there are, there is a theme or a way you guide somebody into saying that I'm a jewelry designer because the experience of jewelry, the bling, the beauty, you know, if you got bling and beauty and I'm trying to get you to get my sales book, you lost me. You know what I'm saying? And so you all don't even understand that you're coming to Samoa and you're telling her that you can do 50 things, but she can't follow a theme and she can't translate that for 50 things. What I can't create a about? brand for you. I can't create a brand for you if branding needs focus and consistency. And the thing is, a lot of people will say, oh, well, this person's successful and they do the, the, all of these things. Usually that's not like what you're seeing isn't usually what they're actually experiencing number one and number two there's no way that you can have a consistent process to attract clients if you're doing a 50 million things at once that's it's impossible and like can I just, I not, try to prove me wrong but i'm telling you <laughs> and please let me add to that please understand you also need to know how long they've been in business you know, and I love to use someone like Tyler Perry. When Tyler Perry came, all he had was those plays. He then went to movies. He mm-hmm. then went to television. You know what I'm saying? You know, he didn't, he didn't just, oh, I'm just all of these things. And so you mm-hmm. see, well, she's in, you know, an Arthur speaker, trainer, this and that and that, you know. Well, but what did they start off with? You know, yeah, you know it's about graduating and yeah. building. Yeah. And some of them, they just have it on their cousin's titles. You know, they, they have, they've written books, so they've done a couple of things. And so they just have it on there because they know that it looks impressive. But when you still go through the site, there's still a theme. Yeah, there's a core, there's a core foundation and there's a core message. And that's what I want, also wanted to touch on. Because a lot of times, you guys, what you guys don't realize, what I touched on today in terms of your ideal clients and the nuggets I dropped, that's something that, that's a that's a piece of having a brand strategy because 
what you guys are doing, like you're getting your websites done and you're just hiring web designer, put something to get, throw something together for you real quick, or you're getting a template and DIYing it yourself. And that's fine, but you're wasting a lot of time and a lot of money because it's like, because it, and when you're like marketing yourself also, when you're creating content and all that stuff, you're wasting a lot of time and a lot of money because you do not have your core brand foundation. And if you don't have a foundation, it's the same as you building, creating a beautiful building with no foundation, with a rocky foundation. No matter how beautiful or impressive the building looks, it's going to crumble eventually. Like it's going to crumble. And you're, and so when you're not building a brand foundation, and I know most of you aren't doing it because you don't know how, or you don't know what you're even supposed to, which is why I'm here telling you, you are, um, <laughs> Like when you don't have that, you're not creating a long lasting business. So August needs to help you with that business coaching. Like she needs to make sure you got your products and services and all that stuff together. Once you got that shit together, you need to have that branding too. And she helps you with parts of it, with your ideal client, figuring out who you are, figuring That's out it. your message. But it's a lot, it's also a lot deeper than that. And you have to dive so much deeper before you can fully understand who you are what makes you unique and communicate it to other people so that they're like oh my god I've never I seen see. anyone like you I need to work with you and you only like I was speaking to a photographer and she was saying she was like yeah I don't know if some of you guys know who Jenna Kutcher is but she's like this amazing this amazing quotation marks for the people listening amazing photographer and the photographer was saying her pictures aren't even that good, but everybody wants to work with her. Like, she's a booked out, and this and that and that, and she's making shit ton of money. And I'm like, she has a brand. I love Jenna Kutcher, <laughs> but I don't know if her pictures are that good because I'm not a photography expert, but I love her. Like, I would love to work with her. But see, that's superficial but BS. Exactly, but it's the brand. It's not even that she's that good. So imagine that you're actually really great at what you do. But nobody sees it and people keep sleeping on you just because you don't know how to tell people how good you are at what you do without telling people how good you are at what you do. <laughs> because that's what she does. That's what all the great brands do. They yes. have to see how great they are without telling people how great they are, whether they're great or not. So you're awesome. And that, that's what I want to work with. I want to work with awesome people. I don't want you to like pretend you're good and not be good. Like I want you to actually be good at what you do, be passionate about making an impact. And if you are, let me help you turn that passion into something tangible that Absolutely. people see and say, hey, this person's amazing and I need to work with them. Because you, what, what she's really saying on, an, an, on another level, let me just also expound on this, is that because of the way that I help people construct their, vi their business, I give you the vocal side to the brand. She mm -hmm. gives you the visual. And so you need both. You need the vocal when you need the visual. And so my clients, you know, I make them come out and express the soul essence of who they are. I, I, I require them to hone in on that, that focus thing so that they can stay consistent with how they promote it. I help them understand how to pull the voice out of who their clients are, the way that they're speaking and, and help them even understand from a psychological perspective, how you need to speak to them in order to woo them in and navigate them through a sales process. Samoa is helping you take all of that with visual imagery as well as a strategy to sell and market yourself on that website. And you need, with the, the more you have both, the visual and the vocal brand, that's when you take it to the next level. And you got to ask yourself, which parts am I missing? She can't translate anything visually that you cannot vocally express. And, and when you... You could say to someone, I, I want me a, a badass website that, you know, exudes confidence. What does that mean? You know, I, I help people build their confidence, but that's still, how many people say that? 
I know personally with you building my website, I was very, very specific with you. You were asking me questions about who I am, how I feel, what I want, what do I want to, you know, what do I want to, you know, convey. Basically, what's my unique selling proposition? What makes me different? You know, and, and I'll give you guys the, the one. One of the things that she knows is about me, but I'm like, what needs to be understood through my site is that I'm there. That was what the, the most important thing for me, because I personally feel like in the coaching industry that it's, it, and this is what you do, even though you're a web designer, but most people that are in online and coaching, I find it to be very ironic that people say they want to change the world. They want to change people, but they're always trying to create businesses that eliminate their presence. and people are having a hard time thinking through their ish and you want to just give them something. So they're stuck by themselves to think through their ish. And I'm like, and that's not me. And so they may not get the same level of access to me being one-to-one, but my unique selling proposition is that I'm always there. And I don't know if you noticed this, like I got a couple of points, but you realize that you're like always there on your site too, right? Yeah, ah. <laughs> I mean, you said it, it was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but anywho, like, there's no page that people don't see your beautiful face. It's like, hey, I'm on this, I'm right here. Oh, <laughs> right here, too. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, that's number one. Number two, I love what you said about people not saying they want to change the world, but they're, they don't want to show up. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. And it's the same thing. Like, if people are hiring you or investing in you, it's because they want you. It's not because they want your team or because they want um your content. They can get your content. They can get your content for cheaper. Like, if people don't want to work with August and they want to know what her strategies are, they'll just buy her book. Like, that's easy. Strategies, like, whatever your strategy is, like, website, marketing, sales, whatever, or whatever you do, that can be replicated. That can easily be replicated. But the one thing that can be replicated is you. So when people buy in, buy from you, they're buying into you because they like you, not anything else. So that's why with my process, like so many designers, they just like, even like the really big ones, they like, they have like a whole team and they're like, passing everything to their team and I don't ever see myself not designing for my at least for my custom clients because I see it like I want to take you and translate it onto the website maybe I'll have a team to help me out with that to make it more simple and easier for you but I want to be able to do that because that's who you're hiring you're hiring me for my creativity and my uniqueness and my designs and no team in the world, no matter how trained they are, can ever replicate that. Because I'm the creative. <laughs> like, they can be creative in their own way, but you're hiring me for my creativity. Yes. So that's number one. And I can't, so many people, when I tell them about their process, they're surprised, especially when they work with designers before, because they're like, that's not what they got. Like, they just got somebody who's like, what do you want? Um, what websites do you like? Okay, I like this website. Like the lady yesterday I spoke to that worked with that eighty dollar designer. She said, "Well, I just went on a couple websites. I said I like this header and I like this footer and I like this about page and I like this." And he pieced it together for me. And I didn't see the design, but what I can assume is that he created a Frankenstein design because she went on a bunch of different websites and said what she liked about each of them, and he just tried to mold all of them together, like. When people hire you for something, they're hiring you for your expertise. You don't let people tell you what to do if you're the expert. You help guide them along the way so that you guys end up work like we end up working together to create something beautiful. Like I can't have you tell me what to do. You're hiring me because I'm the expert. If that's <laughs> like, the case, do, look, if that's the case, do it yourself. <laughs> Right? You might as well, like, you're just hiring the person because they have the technical skill. But you might as well go on Wix and get a website up. Like, it's not that hard. And if yeah. you do want to do it yourself, get a template. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. You know, so I don't, we, we got to come back because we're going to do next week, too. But, you know, you guys, the biggest takeaway from this entire interview is 
you can't go to the web designer to create your marketing message either. You have to have your own marketing message. You need to know who you are. You need to know who your clients are. You need to know how to convey that information. And it's not enough, you know, for your website to be pretty. There is a path that people need to follow and that if they should happen to go this way and they go in this way, they can still come back that way. And it still all leads back to some way, all of those pages melding and meshing together. And mm -hmm. that's the thing that was missing with that Frankenstein thing. There's no way that all of them melded and meshed together. When you click a button, you, you don't just have, you don't have to just go to the home. I mean, to the menu to get to another page of my site. There are certain pages that if you're on it, if you click, it leads you through into the rest of them. So that's how the marketing message is. And it's like, oh, and just in case if you went this way, but you didn't do this and you went back, did you think of this? And, you know, and so I, once again, I, 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 I applaud the experience as well as the site. Yeah, I already know. I think it's the shit. But on this note, I'm not going to tell you to go see my stuff. I'm going to tell you to go get something from the woman that did it. Let them know if they, ha if just in case it's their first time. Because I know if they listened to the episode before, the one before that, they got their freebie. <laughs> but if they did it and they're new, tell them what you have for them before we get out of here. If you didn't already get the freebie, and you like more help in understanding who you are and communicating it, I do have the Brandstorm workbook. Um, it's uh, The Brandstorm is something I take my one-on-one -one clients through to really pull out who they are and what they do so I communicate on their site. So it's very powerful. August has spoken about it many, many times and so have many of my clients. I'm actually known for the questions that I ask. <laughs> like people are like, I'd hire you just for the questions that you ask because they really give you aha and light bulb moments that make you say, whoa, like I didn't even see it that way because it really helps you express yourself and pull out what you didn't even realize was there. Absolutely. So that's what the brainstorm session does. And that's usually a couple hundred bucks if you just want to do the session. And if you get, if you do it with a website, it's a couple thousand bucks, but you get to have access to all the questions. I didn't hold anything back from you. Plus, it's not just random questions. There's actually like prompts in the workbook that tell you, hey, like in this section, make sure you think of this and you do that. So I still guide you through answering the questions so you get the most out of the workbook. Yeah. And it's free. So free. much value for nothing. Not, <laughs> not, not, not list building fluff free. Yeah, not it's not. Value free. Okay. Value, value, value. It's a ton of value. Um, and if you use it the right way, it could literally skyrocket your business. So go ahead to inkbysamo.com slash brandstorm. That's brand and then storm dash workbook to download your copy. All right. That's it. And there it is. So we're gonna get out of here. Come back because we got one more week of the wonderful Samoa. Thank you, ladies, for being here. Till the next time. Deuces. Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here, our mantra is real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in